Hey everybody, my name is Erin and I am with the UAMS South Arkansas Center on Aging. And today we are actually going to make a three bean chili. And if you're watching and you have the ingredients, I hope you um, cook along with us. And um, in the comments, if you have any questions, just post your comments and we'll uh, make sure that we get back with you. Again, like I said, my name is Erin. I'm with the UAMS South Arkansas Center on Aging in El Dorado. And we're so excited to be able to bring HEAT to you today. Uh, and HEAT is a, a program that we're able to do because of the Union County Community Foundation, the uh, grant that we received for that. So we wanted to talk to you a little bit and just share a really fun, easy recipe with you. Um, and I've already got my oil heated up in here. Um, and so what you're gonna need is just uh, about a teaspoon, a little bit more of just the extra virgin olive oil and you're gonna go ahead and get that warmed up in your pot and I've already got that going. And you're gonna, and I've already got my peppers and onions diced in this bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stir those in and let those cook for about, about four minutes or so. So I'm gonna stir that around. So while that's cooking, I wanna talk to you um, about the canned vegetables and so, this recipe actually is no meat, uh, and so we think about having to have a lot of protein, and how are we gonna get that protein? Well, our canned uh, beans. So you're gonna have a lot of beans in this recipe. You have two cans of kidney beans, a can of black beans, a can of pinto beans, uh, and so four cans of beans. Beans actually have a lot of fiber. They do have a lot of protein in them, which is really good for you. So there's where you're gonna get that protein. Um, it has um, folate, it's got, again, it's a good resource, for, uh, good source for potassium. Um, one thing that you do wanna make sure of, let me stir this around, is when you are using canned vegetables, it is very, very important that you rinse those vegetables. And so what I've done is I've actually opened all of our uh, vegetables, it calls for a can of corn. And so we've already uh, put this in a colander We've rinsed them off really, really well and got all of the sodium off. So one thing that um, I want to make sure that you are aware of, and you probably are, but that whenever you do find can or buy canned vegetables and you cook with them, canned vegetables are, um, they're gonna have a lot of uh, sodium in them. And so rinsing that off and rinsing all that sodium off, off is gonna help decrease your uh, sodium intake. Because if you, you know, if you are on a restricted sodium diet, that's something you do need to be aware of. And so, you know, make sure you talk to your healthcare provider, you know, about how much sodium you need if you don't know. Uh, but to help eliminate that, rinse those canned vegetables really well. So I'm gonna go ahead, another thing that this calls for is a teaspoon of garlic. And so I just have minced garlic here. You can do your own garlic if you want to. I really like to cook with this, it's easy. Uh, it smells really good. So you're gonna have about a teaspoon of this and you're just gonna add that to the pot and let that cook. for about one more minute and that just kind of helps all of that season together kind of scorches the bottom a little bit and then you get that real good flavor um, but we're also in the um, recipe you got a uh, diced tomatoes you have a can of corn and then vegetable broth that's where you're going to get your juice from it calls for um, a teaspoon of cumin and I believe no two teaspoons of cumin and one teaspoon of uh, the cayenne pepper and that gives it a little bit of heat now if you wanted it to be a little spicier a little hotter um, You can't add some more cayenne pepper. I like a little bit of heat with my chili um, The vegetable stock and then it calls for a cup of salsa now this right here is um, Seven ounces eight ounces of the cup So you could add a little bit more if you wanted to or add a little bit of water or you know If you had a jar of salsa, you can do that, but this right here was close enough for us now, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to add my broth, so I've already measured that out, and I'm going to go ahead and add my spices. Now, I've already put my cumin and my cayenne pepper in there, I'm going to go 
ahead and turn that up just a little bit. Let that cook. This is a really, really easy recipe. It's kind of just opening the cans, dumping stuff in. Uh, you know, if we're on a budget, this is a really budget friendly recipe. Actually, all the ingredients, including the spices, uh, was just a little bit over $13. It was like $13.22. Uh, now, I don't have a preference as far as what type of canned vegetables. We just bought what we what we seen. And so you could use any, you know, any brand. Uh, so we don't have a particular brand that we like to use. So I'm going to let this kind of simmer a little bit, come to a, a boil, actually. Now, we've gone ahead and we have rinsed. We've rinsed all of our beans and we have had them setting we rinsed them really well and so i'm going to go ahead and add that to the pot this is smelling really good just so you know now this is a recipe and you notice if you have the recipe card if you don't have it and you want it we can email it to you just make a comment uh, in the comments and we'll get this to you uh, but on this recipe you can actually do this in the crock pot so if you want to do it in the crock pot you just put all the ingredients together in your crock pot turn it on low for about four hours and then that's going to cook that way uh, I don't want to do it in a crock pot I like to do mine on the stove and so that's going to take really about 20 minutes now the longer you let this kind of simmer and cook once you put all of the ingredients in there, you're going to have um, you're going to have a better it's going to have a better time uh, seasoning. All of those seasons and all of those different spices are going to mix together. So I just put the tomatoes in. I'm going to put the salsa in, but they're going to have time to kind of cook and marry together, and so that's what really brings out the spice in it. And so I really, when I'm cooking chili, I like to cook it on the stove. Um, and then I just turn it down and I let it just simmer for several hours. If you wanted your chili to be a little bit more um, seasoned, then we can, um, you can, uh, I mean, not seasoned, but if you wanted it a little juicier, you can add a little bit more uh, of the vegetable broth if you like. So I've got all of my ingredients in here, and I'll spoon it up a little bit just so that you can see what it's gonna look like. It's really pretty, it's got a lot of color in it, it's gonna have a lot of flavor. I'm gonna actually let this cook for um, probably about 45 minutes or so. But I'll just spoon up just a little bit here so you can kind of see. Now these peppers and onions, they're gonna cook down a little bit. But you can see that, I don't know if you can see that or not. But anyways, that's all the ingredients in there everything on the table makes about four to six bowls and so that's a pretty good serving you know if you're on a budget and you're trying to find recipes that are good and healthy things that you can eat at home maybe you have this in your pantry um, so this is a really fun recipe one thing that I want to make sure that you know is that um, the bell peppers they do have vitamin A in it that's good for our eyes and so there are a lot of health benefits the onions when you eat onions onions are really have a lot of antioxidants in them and they're actually good uh, at helping to kind of level off and um, level your blood sugar. And so, you know, that's something good to think about when you're eating some vegetables. So we're going to let this cook. And if you watch the video, please just uh, give me a thumbs up. You can push the heart, make a comment. Let us know that you're watching, that you did watch it. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. We are here. If you are in the counties that we serve, uh, please give us a call. It's 881-8969. If you have any questions, if you would like to have this recipe, we'll be glad to send it to you. And even if you're not uh, from one of the counties uh, in South Arkansas, you can give us a call and we will help connect you with the Center on Aging in your area. Um, and so if you have any questions, please, we want to be a good resource for you and, and give you some good educational material. And I really appreciate you watching today. And if you have any questions, please give us a call. Thanks. Bye and enjoy.